How are you guys doing? We're doing good. Okay. Your speed dating continues with me. Mm -hmm. I want to just say on camera to all three of you, uh, this movie is fantastic. I really hope people go out to see this one, especially in a movie theater, because it deserves to be seen on a movie screen. Um, and I'm so curious, for all three of you, you you guys have all worked on other projects, but you, re you don't really know what it's gonna be until you see the finished film. So for all three of you, what, what, what was it like actually watching this for the first time? Because it's a very powerful look at what's going on in our country, and it represents a lot. To, anyway, I'll st I'll stop talking. It's uh, it's interesting because I I always have this. Uh, people ask me, oh, wow, well, what is it gonna look like? Or I never know because, like you said, you know, you, 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 as an actor, you go there, you do your best, and and you hope for the best. Now, I've been in films that. Things were great, and I thought everybody was, oh, this is gonna be great, and when you watch it, it's like not that great. And the opposite, the same, like chaotic processes where the film is awesome. But I have to say with this one, I was very confident that this was gonna be a great film. And, and when I saw the film, it wasn't that, I mean, it, it really amazed me, everything, the, the sound of the film, I wasn't expecting it to be that incredible. And, but the story, that Alex wanted to, to, to tell, it's all there. Yeah, I, I the, the screenplay Alex wrote was gripping. And uh, I, was, I was surprised that he pulled it off in the way that he did when I first saw the film. And the way, because I didn't know how the photographs were naturally gonna, uh, were eventually going to be in, in, incorporated. incorporated, thank you. like in quiet moments that you have, and it felt so real to have those quiet moments when soldiers pause mm -hmm. and then begin again. Like, it just felt so immersive to me, and um, it, I, I just have never seen a movie like that, and I called him, and I was like, I'm just very proud to be a part of this. Yeah, it's true, the, those moments of the photos that, the different photos that Lee and Jesse take, it's mm -hmm. like a moment where you go inside their minds. Yes, you, uh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. You take a pause inside, the, mm -hmm. you know, you're seeing it through. The, it's really special, uh -huh. the way that it was edited. And yes, I was blown away. I didn't, I actually thought this movie is gonna be a nightmare to edit because there were so many cameras going on at the same yeah. time. There's so yes. much footage. We had eight cameras rigged to the car. So it, we just sort of got in, they, said action on a walkie-talkie and Let's Wagner starts driving, driving and we just yeah. start, it was sort of, it, it was kind of cool as an actor because mm -hmm. you didn't have, it wasn't a traditional way to film, so. And if there was, let's say it was Kaylee's close-up and there was a camera that you peeked that was maybe on Wagner in the front seat from over the shoulder, then Alex, I guess, they just took it out. Oh yeah. In post, so like. But he, also it meant that you always had to be Right. Giving your yeah. <laughs> like, always have to be acting. No, <laughs> no but like every little detail yeah, was yeah. picked up. Chicken fingers. <laughs> One time we were eating chips and he said action. And we we're both, we're all like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, get the chips, get the chips out of your teeth. Of your teeth. Uh, now we're getting a little. <laughs> Alex has said, and, and I'm hoping it's not true, Alex has said that he is not going to direct. He, recently, this might be the last one he does for a while. I, I'm not 100%. Uh, what do we need to do to convince him that this is a mistake? Because he makes exceptional movies. I mean, he's kind of co-directing in a way, or Ray is directing the film. Ray Mendoza, our uh, main military, military advisor. advisor, yeah, is making a film about his experience and Alex is gonna be his right-hand man, produce it along the entire way with Ray, so. And he's also still writing. Oh, he's still, yeah, he writes. Oh, really listen, he's yeah. fantastic, but yes. you, you know what I mean. After yeah, you see yeah. Civil War, you're like, please keep making movies. Yeah, yeah. totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah. so, I agree. But I believe him, I think he's gonna, Alex is not like a kind of bullshit guy. You know, if he says he's gonna stop, I think he's gonna stop for at least for a while. Yeah, I'm hoping after like four or five years he gets the itch again, you know? But anyway, listen, yeah. so you guys see the shooting schedule, you know what's in front of you. What day did you have circled in terms of, I cannot wait to film this? And what day was circled in terms of, wait, how exactly are we gonna film this? Hmm, I never circle any dates of anything. We, we shot in order, so that was yeah. kind of like, we had the buildup of the actual heightening of the film yeah. in front of us in, in life. But I think that the mass grave scene was something that I, I personally was sort of like, oh, it's gonna be next week, right? Mm -hmm. like, so that, that kind of scene. Sure. 
Yeah, same. That, that yeah, that that was the one that was like, okay, here we go. It's we got it. We have to get this right. Yeah. You know. There is a line that uh, uh, Jesse says in the film, which is, "What kind of American are you?" I love this line, and I love that scene, the way it all plays out. Uh, can you talk about when you're filming stuff like that on set as actors? Is it just like the energy on set on a scene like that? You know what I mean? When it's that intense, and um, if you could just talk a little bit about that. That scene was very particularly. Uh, that's maybe that's why I was like, oh my god, this is the day where I shoot that scene because I, I, re I, I personally reacted like in a very strong way to that scene since I read the script. What kind of American are you? It's a, it's something that really strikes me as like someone that you know is not from here. I'm an American citizen too, but I'm, I speak with an accent and I, I'm Brazilian, so. I I always have I all before the film I always had this little like oh my god with if someone asks me something like this if if I'm somewhere and, and someone goes like oh where are you from what are you doing here we'll go back to your, that kind of racist xenophobic kind of thing I don't know how I would react to that so doing that scene with Jesse and the way he played the scene and it was I mean I without, without being too. <laughs> Melodramatic, like after this, and we shot it for two days. It was exhausting. We shot like many, many times. He said that to me many, 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 many times. And like in the end, when we wrapped, I really I lay down in the green. There was a grass thing. I lay down in the grass and, and cried for 15 minutes. It says something about you know, uh, you know, yeah, being a. a yeah, being a Latino in this country, and you know, it's a really, it was a really strong scene for me. Oh, I wasn't sure if you guys were gonna add anything. I mean, I had the least interaction with the char with his character in it. I just, I just made him do the role for us. That was my part in it. Thank you. He tortured poor Kaylee though. Not tortured, but but did a lot of improv improvisation. Yeah. The first day he was just. Um, we were just an eye line, but Jesse was in it, so that meant I was in it. <laughs> and we were doing a, a lot of improvising, which was a, it's not a fun character to interact with for a whole day. Uh, but hopefully it's effective and gets under people's skin in the way it got under ours. It definitely does. I gotta wrap. Uh, congrats on the movie, for real. And uh, thank you for giving me your time.